first guest is one of the hardest working women in Hollywood. You can catch her in the Netflix movie A Week Away, the ABC show Call Your Mother, and co hosting the podcast Two Funny Mamas. Please welcome the hilarious Sherry Shepard. <laughs> Happy slash angry for you right now. <laughs> what is hap? You look amazing. Girl, thank you. I'm so nervous because this is the first time I've ever worn this outfit. It's been my you goal outfit. You should feel amazing about it. Thank you. That barn door open and I'm still standing. We're still standing. We Girl, haven't sat down yet. This is what happens when you let go of an ex-husband. Oh I'm going to let God. you know that. When does that happen? It happens. That does not happen. Yes, it, yes it will. I I'm, like, I'm here to promise you that. I was like, I'm looking for that Adele plan. Like, and I don't, and it's, <laughs> I'm like, when does that happen? Oh. Um, no, what inspired you? You already looked beautiful. So what Thank inspired you. you to just trim down? My, um, you know what, I have to say when Jeffrey, you know, my son Jeffrey, yep. he, uh, he's got a special needs and he was sitting in the car and I was eating like a candy bar yeah. and he said, mommy, if you die, who's going to be my bodyguard? That's what he said. Oh and I said, what? My. And he said, if you are not here, who's going to take care of me? And it literally hit me like, Whoa. Sherry, you got to change your life. So this is, that's my baby. And this is my third year with no sugar. Wow. And I, I stopped eating pork and beef and dairy because I said, I want to be healthy yeah. for Jeffrey. Now, the perk is I get to put on this little Vici bodysuit and go. <laughs> and you put it on. It looks Girl. so good. That door opened. I was like, I'm so angry. Thank you. I am like, what in the world with the dress? Yes. This is uh. my birthday photo shoot because I turned 54. What? And I, yes, the 54, y'all. What? But I just, you know, it's like I wanted to show people. I don't like share anymore. Look at you. <laughs> I just uh. wanted to show people that, you know, you, you're not counted out. Because sometimes people, Hollywood is not kind yeah. to you as you get older. And yeah. I wanted to show people you still got it. Or society in general. Or society. Yeah. So this is like my health journey. This was the perk to my health journey. Wow. And I wanted to pay homage to like, you know, glam Hollywood. Dorothy Dandridge yeah. and Lena Horne oh, and I Diane Carroll. So that's the, yeah. my photo shoot that I did. Jesus. <laughs> take the wheel. You Girl. look amazing. Um, so this is your fourth time here. So since you look so fabulous, um, our, every time someone has been here four times, we give them a little present. You're going to look real good in this. We oh, should wow. maybe get you oh, the smallest size of all oh, of the Oh, my lens. gosh. I got my team yes. Yes. I got my team Debbie jacket. I have a convertible, so I can put this on in my convertible car. Oh, my God. And drive. I'm a little cute girl, and I'm manifesting a date in my yeah. team, in Kelly, my team jacket. Kelly jacket. Yes, baby. <laughs> yes. All right, so Thank your, you. your friend and Two Funny Mamas co-host, Kim Whitley, she's also been here four times. And I hear that, are you each other's, like, emergency contact, like, in case of an earthquake? Girl, the last earthquake, the last two earthquakes that happened, I called Kim up, and I was so scared because I'm traumatized from earthquakes because oh. the big one that we had back in 1995, somewhere around there, yeah. I was on a booty call, and that was the worst <laughs> wow. because I thought that Jesus Christ was coming. It was like, boom, boom, and I realized, oh, my gosh, Jesus is coming. He going to knock at my door. I'm on a booty call with somebody I don't even like, first of all. <laughs> So I made him get on the floor. We were butt naked and we were praying for forgiveness through the whole earthquake. I was so traumatized. Oh my so that's God. all I remember is being on a booty call. Earthquakes mean booty call, bad booty call. So I'm just like, so whenever we have an earthquake, I call up Kim and I'm like, you just got to walk me through this girl. Woo. Oh. I don't like them. I have to pretend, because I have little kids, right? So I have yeah. to pretend that everything's fine. I'm like, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Like, it's still shaking, and I'm like, and I run to their bedrooms, whatever. And anyway, they, they, I have to act like I'm not freaked out. But I'm freaked out. Don't the freaking you hate this moving. Jeffrey is, he, he's 16, so he sleeps through earthquakes. But oh. I'm always afraid that I'm going to wake up, and I ain't going to have no clothes on. So you got to have your <laughs> earthquake clothes. So as soon as it starts shaking, and it ain't your boobs shaking, you yeah. got to run and grab the yeah. clothes and put it on. <laughs> You know, this is true, TMI, but like I <laughs> generally like sleeping naked. I don't like, I get hot. I don't like, you know, you whatever, to, TMI. What... But you can't do that in this state no, because I know that my ass will be caught 
they'll some firefighter will have to come get me out of my roof, caving in, and I'll just be sitting there in the bus. Well, that's what like, you want is a firefighter to see you butt naked, girl. Maybe after I've on, been on your plan, but right now it'd be a little much. Like, I don't know. You're welcome, Mom. So you are in a musical on Netflix. It's called A Week Away. So did you like doing the singing and dancing, or were you terrified? I, you know, I can't sing, Kelly. I can't sing. I can't dance. I was voted off the mass singer. I was voted off dance. How did you land star. a job where you're singing and dancing if girl, you can't I do either? I don't know. I think it's my sheer personality and force of will <laughs> that did it. But force you know, the way, the way they had me sing, like I admire you, Kelly. They had me go in the studio and sing each word and then they strung the best of together. Oh, they edited I, it all Yeah, they edited it in auto tune. I sound like a black bat, uh, Pat Benatar. That's what I sounded oh. like. Because it was like, ah, ah, <laughs> open, open, up, up. And they just took everything <laughs> and put it together. The bubble, the bubble, the bubble. And then they, I sounded like Pat Benatar. Oh my God, I love you so much right now. Because it does sound funny when they edit it and it's a like, different energy as well yes. from a different take. And you'd be like intimate and then, oh! <laughs> I heard it and I was like, oh my God. So when I come back on, can we do like a duet? Can we yes. do like Proud Mary? Yes. Or something? But I want to do it like weird edited version. <laughs> Like a, this is what our edit was. Exactly. <laughs> People don't, re it's a real thing. Um, but you recently had a birthday, and that's amazing. I did too. So, how did you celebrate? I celebrate my birthday. Kim Whitley, she is one of us. She has a tennis court in her backyard. Yeah. So, we do Whitley on Wheels. It's a skating we, She calls it Whitley on Wheels, and it's our own oh. private skating ring. And so, she threw me. We a, do that at my yes. house. We have a tennis court, and we get uh, and you just roller skate. skates and bikes. And, Absolutely. Yeah. And that's yeah. what we do. We skate. This is her tennis court, and we just skate. Look on at her her tennis court, and I love it because Kim doesn't skate. She just rides her bike around the court. Oh, and I tells like riding the bike. Yeah, she screams and she goes, hey, it's, it's duet. It's man and woman skating. And so it's a skating party yeah. that she threw me for my birthday because I love awesome. roller skating. That's awesome. My whole thing I always say is it's a couple skate. Like it's like, yeah, because that was the time I generally get off this, the floor. <laughs> oh, you buy yourself? No. You know, like in like junior high when you're like, cool, um, I'll just be over. I, I was, I'm one some nachos anyway. See, I'm when you kidding. go to adult skate, like you got to come over Kim's house. Okay. When it's couple skate and we don't have anybody to skate with, we get a shot of tequila. We just, then we, <laughs> and then we, we, with our shot of tequila, we're just skating around. Yeah, it makes you feel good. Don't talk you don't back. know you by yourself, um, I'll tell you that. <laughs> You're with everyone. <laughs> um, so how did you learn to roller skate? Why did you do that? I started, you know what, because uh, roller skating is such a culture in the African-American community. I saw 70-year-olds skating and 90-year-olds wow. skating at the rink. And so Danielle Hawkins, who she came and she was teaching me how to roller skate. So we go to a park and we skate on the basketball court. That's Danielle. And it's so funny because all the teenagers would sit there in the swings and laugh at me. But I realized, even when they were laughing at me, I said, but I'm actually trying it. Like, yeah. that's the difference between a dream and a reality. You make it happen. So now when they see me, they're like, go ahead, mama. Go yeah. ahead, auntie. Yeah. So it's so great. And I feel free when I roller skate. I it's love fun. it. It's so much And it kind of makes you feel like a child at heart again. Absolutely. Like, yeah, and, bef and, and I don't want to break anything. So I, there's that fear. It's funny how you fear nothing when you're a kid and you're doing those things. And now Girl. I'm just like, wait, so if I break this, then I won't be able to do that job. And I won't be able to. That's what you think. Because you know, the yeah. hips don't have the bounce back yeah. like when we were 12. Yeah. And I'm always like this. Oh, oh. <laughs> and you, you got to know that you're going to fall. But when yeah. you fall, you get back up. Oh, That's absolutely. what it is. Absolutely. That's with everything. So um, you also started pole dancing. I yes, I talking did. about this. So how are the lessons going? The lessons are going slow, but it's go they're going. <laughs> Cause it's I, you know, I hard. Heard. Well, Danielle Hawkins, who is also my pole dancer, she yeah. also pole dances with skates on, by the way. Yeah. But yeah. she always the moves that she has me doing. I'm like, girl, I got arthritis in that part of my leg. <laughs> and then she'll inflammation. say inflammation. Thank you, the inflammation. But she'll say like, now we're gonna bring our legs up, and I go with what muscles? Ab Wait, muscles? But... I ain't got that. <laughs> so I'm I'm going through, but it, it works your abs, your yeah. core, your arms, muscles your thighs, you didn't even know you had. Muscles you didn't even know you had. Dude, I tried once. And this hotel randomly had a pole in it. Look, it was a bunch of people wasn't freaky like that, but there's nothing wrong with it. You want to be freaky like that. But I just mean, I tried one, and I, it, the loudest, it was just like, it was like, and this was when I was in shape. And, uh -huh. I, and I got on it and just boof. I Fell was like, right to the wait, what? I was like, that's really hard. You tried hard. too hard. I'm going to tell you, yeah. I went and did a movie in Vancouver for Lifetime. And I brought, you can take the pole with you. I have a pole in my bedroom. Wait, it's a travel pole? Yes, it's travel pole. I have it in my bedroom. Jeffrey came in the room. And he said, I, I wouldn't have my da daughter doing this. And I was just like, what? So oh this is in Canada. But I didn't put it up right. And so the asbestos all fell from the ceiling oh. in my mouth. <laughs> 
But it was so funny to see the Canadian police because they were like, what is this? And I said, it's my pole. And they said, what, do you, what is it for? And I said, it's when I dance. And they go, why are you here? I said, I'm doing a movie. So I think they thought I was doing a porno. It was all oh right. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I love that explanation to people showing up at yeah, your door. Yeah, it's my dance pole. It's amazing. Yep, I'm still here. Just waiting for you to subscribe. If you don't, I'll be trapped in this box forever.